In November of 2012, I went to meet Rick Miller at Third Place Books, just north of Seattle, and he brought the first prototype of the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press that I designed earlier that year, and which he had built completely on a CNC router. And I brought along a copper plate and some damp paper and a stick of Rembrandt's chocolate provided by Ernest Horvers in Canada. He has Rembrandt's Chocolate Company and we sometimes print our copper plates with his dark chocolate. So I loaded the press with our traction blankets and the felt blanket, got it started. And I had some paper prepared ahead of time dampened uh, Japanese paper I think it was. So I got the plate uh, filled, the textures of the plate filled with chocolate, got my paper out of its uh, sandwich bag that I always use. By now the the plate is nice and warm so that the chocolate would be soft enough to print out onto the onto the paper. Of course we have to work before the plate cools off and the chocolate would harden again. This was our first crash test of his first prototype. <laughs> the prototypes are always fun to work with. And it worked, almost. The press began to fall apart right in the last few inches. Uh, but as Rick said, that's what prototypes and crash tests are for. But it did print, despite the fact that the press fell apart in the process. And there we have a chocolate print from my series called Rembrandt's Ghost in the New Machine. Rick thought it was great fun. I thought it was great fun. And uh, we're proceeding and uh, look forward to a finished and fully working model of the Wee Woody Rembrandt's Press. I'm Bill Ritchie, and I thank you for watching, and I thank Rick Miller and Ernest Horvers.